Hey, it's the Church. We're here at the World Famous Luxor Las Vegas, and we're getting ready to turn in our Diabolist Cantina reward. Let's go check it out. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick thank you to all of our Patreon members that help keep the channel growing. More on that later. Hey, it's Minister and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. Once again, we find ourselves at the Luxor. Coming up to the cashier's cage, we are going to take a little bit of time and turn in our Diablos Cantina reward so we can have a little lunch right before we check in at Mirage. Let's go. Okay, that was quite the slog to get through. It was the better part of a 30-minute line. They only had one cashier working, and they were doing uh, hem life as well as the cashiering. So <laughs> off we go, finally heading up the stairs. Let's go to Diablos. Alright guys, we are officially inside here at El Diablos, so we're going to go ahead and see what the canteen is like. I've got my $20 My Vegas credit, and we are going to spend it, so let's go. All right, guys, so this go around, we decided to go ahead and try out Diablo's signature stuff. So we decided to get a house margarita over here just to see what that's like. We'll have a nice little sip of that right now. Mm. No, even with the house tequila, that's actually still pretty smooth right there. Rock salt's on there too. The bartender did a good job putting everything together. It's, uh, you know, it's icy, it's cold, but you know, it's uh, actually really good ice in here, too. It's not really melting very quickly. with that, but if I on that one. All right, guys, here we are. We got our tacos already. Took one for the gram, so let's go ahead and have a bite. One street taco. Damn. Not bad at all. It's nicely seasoned. Not very spicy. I was expecting it to be a bit more spicy, honestly. They got the onions, they got the cilantro, they got the peppers in there too. Good asada, well done. Good stuff. Um, definite four out of five there. I think I would have preferred it be a bit more spicy. Or if there was like a, you know, like a chili sauce or something like that. Maybe a salsa, maybe a salsa verde to go with it. I would have preferred that. But hey, otherwise it's not a bad way to spend uh, 20 bucks. So, hey. Spinners and Sharks and we made out pretty well. So we got our $20 comp down and then it was only $22 to the rest. So filet mignon tacos and then uh, margarita, all good stuff. A little more expensive than I would have previously anticipated, but you know, otherwise Diablo did pretty good. Definitely worth the uh, four out of five overall, if you ask me. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's restaurant review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons, including our newest Patreon member, John B. Guys, it means the world to me that you're choosing to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. My content isn't always censored and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. That said, what do you guys think of Diablo's Cantina? Is it worth taking time out of your Vegas vacation to visit? Is this a My Vegas reward that you would use? Or are you okay to wait until one is open in your hometown? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas.
Viva, viva, it's a big girl.